Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another video tutorial about AutoCAD. We're going to talk today about the application of limits and also the relation between limits and some of the zoom types. So first of all, in your uh, model space, you would often see uh, the grid area, which you can switch on and off by clicking on this toggle button. Grid display, grid is off. Okay, so uh, make sure it is on. And also make sure that you right click on it and then go to settings and untick this grid behavior, which is called display grid beyond limits. Make sure it is unticked. Uh, we need to start off without this option. Okay, now you can see that your grid has shrinked. And for those who are still seeing their grid to be all over the space, this is due to the zooming level. You need to zoom out. Only then you can see it. So if you are already zoomed in, so please zoom out using the scroll button to see your grid area. Okay, so what we basically did is we have uh, limited our grid area to our drawing area limits. So what is drawing area limits? It's a command in AutoCAD called L-I-M-I-T-S. You can see it there. So you can press enter and then you can set the limits of the drawing area. Okay, so it starts from the bottom left all the way to the top right corner from the bottom left corner to the top right corner so the bottom left corner should be zero zero as it is uh, already in the uh, you know default measure default uh, value so you just press enter and then looking at the top right corner again the default value is set to a3 paper in landscape orientation that is 420 comma 297 this is the a3 paper in landscape orientation so if you would wish to change this to a4 which is 297 comma 210 this is according to landscape so you can press enter uh, so you can see it now a4 in the landscape orientation or else you can change it to A4 in the portrait orientation which is 210,297 so this is the portrait uh, and back to the A3 landscape orientation 420,297 okay so now you know how to change your limits as for the importance of limits, uh, it has a couple of uh, uses, although it is not that uh, important for, uh, you know, general mechanical drawings. You can still do without it. Uh, however, uh, there are some, up, some relations with the zoom uh, tools that I'm going to describe in a while. Okay, so now we have our limits set to A3 paper. So assuming that I have a circle here, okay, and I, I would like to zoom this circle, zoom to this circle. So what, what, what kind of tools that I can use? I can access the view tab and under the navigation or navigate 2D, I have my uh, zoom tools. So one of the most important tools that I have are the extend as well as the zoom all zoom extends and zoom all so i'm going to press zoom extend where you can see that the software is going to bring the circle into focus okay whatever is the circle even if you place it somewhere far away if you press extend then it will bring the circle into focus okay i would like to remind you that uh, if you double click your scroll button you would do the same function okay if you if you would cl double click the scroll button you would do the same function that is zoom extends 
Okay, it doesn't matter whether the circle is away from the uh, paper drawing limits or even within. Still, if you double click the scroll button, it brings the circle into focus. <clears throat> okay, so that's talking about the uh, zoom extends. What about zoom all? Let us try zoom all. Okay, so zoom all doesn't really focus on the circle, rather it focuses on the paper limits. So uh, if you put the paper over here and then you press zoom all, it will bring the paper limits into the focus. And one more thing, if you have a circle outside your paper limits and then you press zoom all, then what happens is the software is going to bring both into focus, the paper limits as well as the drawing. So uh, these are three examples of using uh, zoom extends and zoom all. I hope that this is clear. Okay, so I'm going to remove the circle. Uh, you still can access the zoom command using the command line zoom and then go to zoom all, enter zoom, zoom extends, enter, yeah. So you can still access by using the command line. Okay, there is one more issue that is uh, the beginner is always advised to be aware of, which is the zooming level. We, we don't recommend that you start drawing when your cursor is at a very zoomed level. If you are zoomed in at a very deep level, then this would harm you uh, in a way that when you draw a line, even you, if you move your cursor so much uh, to the right, you are still reading about seven units, which, which is really across the screen, but you are still within the seven units uh, you know, measurement. This is uh, because you have zoomed in. So you need to zoom out. What happens if you really zoom out far away? If you zoom out very far, then uh, what happens is your screen will be reading uh, very large values on the opposite side. So now when I go across the screen, I already read about 1000. If I really start from here all the way to here, it's about 2000. And things get worse when you really zoom out very far. So the best thing is when you zoom all. You zoom all and your uh, A3 paper limit is within your view and you start drawing so it is acceptable. Now you see it's within your paper uh, limits. So your, your, your cursor is reading about 370 plus plus. So I really advise before you start drawing try to click zoom and then zoom all to get things into perspective. So I hope that this uh, was helpful uh, and uh, last reminder zoom all always brings you the origin uh, to view. So this is your origin, origin of AutoCAD. So when you zoom all you always get your origin back. Uh, at times you might lose your origin such as here. Now I have lost my origin. Okay, I have lost my origin and to, to know whether you have lost your origin or not, uh, when you bring your cursor to the XY origin, you still can read here 842, 421. So there is no zero actually here. So when, what you need to do is zoom all. And this brings you to the actual origin. This is the origin. If you, if you would read now, your... Uh, please read this uh, drawing coordinate status bar. You can see it is 1.5 minus 0 0.2. So I'm actually at the zero origin now. Yeah, and here it is in the negative. Negative, this is zero. So th these are some of the uh, applications of zoom extends and zoom all. 
I hope this video was helpful and thank you for listening. See you again.